YouTube, man, what's going on? It's LNH back with another vid, man. In today's video, we got to talk about it. Mikey Williams actually just called out Nick Briz on Instagram Live once again. And of course, if you guys didn't see the Nick Briz and Devante Friga vid just dropped yesterday, and that was going crazy. So let's break it down and get right into it. But if you do like these type of vids, man, make sure you like the video, sub to the channel, turn on those notifications. It's free. Let's get right into it. Now, if you guys did not see Nick Briz and Mikey Williams have been going back and forth for a minute now now of course mikey Williams actually initially called nick briz's content fake and whenever you get your content called fake someone is calling you out and especially with somebody like mikey Williams who has a huge following it's gonna affect you in some type of way you're gonna look at it and really say man other people are gonna start to question what i do and if he doesn't think his content is fake at all and he's not hiring anyone then mikey really shouldn't be saying anything at the end of the day but after that nick briz actually went on instagram live said he would slap Mikey Williams, was really talking crazy about this kid, which was disappointing in my opinion, but I think that's Nick's type of brand, where he's not going to back down from any type of competition or any fight, regardless of how old you are. But of course, then Mikey Williams actually responded to this on TikTok previously and said that he would bag Nick, which I believe he was talking about basketball, but I'm not going to lie, I'm not 100% sure. So after that, Mikey Williams actually responded again again on Instagram live and he basically was saying that Nick Briz was lame he told him to go back and work his nine to five and that he was playing against no competition and I gotta be honest that's tough because you guys know Nick Briz has been going to a ton of course really been blowing up over the scene is hitting a million views per vid this dude has been doing his thing on YouTube but is he really playing against competition well let's take a look at it you guys know who he played very recently it was Devonte Friga and honestly Devonte Friga's team was not looking the best of course he had cam wilder but the rest of his team was really some randoms that he has never played with before which i think that was tough for him to play but nick Briz's team did win the game and for sure he did hold his own in these games so i gotta give respect but Devonte friga that's just not his type of environment where he's really talking trash against other people but man mikey Williams does make a good point and a lot of people have been pointing this out in the comments section that this dude really isn't playing against any good competition he's going to these random courts where of course it's really just for content trying to call people out swearing just talking crazy talking trash against these guys just to get a thumbnail get clickbait and get views to boost his channel and his social media accounts now to be honest we're still waiting to try to see mikey williams actually play against nick briz but it clearly doesn't look like it's gonna happen at all of course mikey is focused on getting to the league doing his thing on the basketball court why would he worry about a youtuber who's just trying to get content get clickbait and make money off of his name you're really just feeding into his narrative at that point and trying to get him more views and money and that really just doesn't make sense where mikey's goal is to get to the league you guys know you're gonna be making millions of dollars in the nba and he's doing pretty well so far of course mikey williams did sign that deal and he's actually going to be generating millions of dollars for himself and the company as well and for sure this dude's future is looking super bright but a ton of people have been commenting that nick is pretty much crazy at this point the way that he's pretty much arguing against people you can get into some serious serious beef and he even said something about of course Devonte Friga another hooper in the community YouTube community he even said that this dude was scared because he was running from gunshots and that's crazy to me you guys know this doesn't make any sense if you guys see there was a video where there were gunshots going off and he started running and Nick Briz was pretty much making fun of him for that point which is crazy to me because at the end of the day you want to keep everyone safe and it's not about being the toughest guy it's about keeping your family people around you safe and really making it out and being a positive impact around the community which i think nick briz that's just not his brand this dude is about violence recklessness and trying to get buckets on the basketball court and he's gonna call you out he does not care who you are but at the end of the day this dude usually will shake up after the end of the games and it will be pretty cordial now, what I'm very curious to see is, is if Nick will actually respond to this situation. Now, you guys know this dude is 25. Mikey's only around 17 years old, which a lot of people are calling this dude out for that beefing with somebody. Of course, technically, Mikey Williams is not a kid. He's pretty much a young adult at this point. But yes, still a minor, still 17. And you're 25 and you're talking about a kid like that. Man, that's tough in my opinion. But it really just shows. I think this is just Nick's brand as a whole. And he wants to make entertaining content for sure. So he's going to call 
call out whoever he wants to. Now, you guys let me know if I missed anything about this Mikey Williams and Nick Briz beef. Do you think Nick Briz is actually going to respond to this dude once again? Or do you think he's just going to let it rock and keep doing his thing on YouTube? Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised because Mikey Williams again called him out once again, basically stating he was trash. And now Nick Briz, the ball is in his court. Is this dude actually going to respond? You guys let me know in the comments down below. But I got to be honest, you guys know I covered the Devontae Friga and Nick Briz situation, them playing each other. Before the vid even came out, there were some leaked videos, but now the video has dropped on Nick's channel. And I got to be honest here, man. I just think Devontae Friga's team was at a huge disadvantage just because it was him and Cam Wilder. Now they were doing their thing on the court and Cam can shoot the ball for sure. He is a lot better than I thought he was. I got to be honest. And he has played college basketball. But honestly, I'm not even sure if somebody like Devontae Freeze even got a chance to warm up. This dude was playing on the court out there and pretty much didn't look as comfortable as he does sometimes in the past. And I think that's just because they were talking a ton of trash to him. Now, Nick Briz and his big man were talking crazy to Devontae Freeze. And I think sometimes when people do talk trash to you, it can get to your head. But when we talk about talent wise and these two guys, man, I definitely would take Devontae Friga over Nick Briz, but I got to respect Nick Briz and how he attacks the game of basketball and isn't afraid to go up against anyone. He was giving Devontae Friga plenty of buckets and was doing his thing on the court. Definitely not afraid to go up against him. So I got to give him respect for that. Now we all saw Friga and this dude was not talking trash, pretty much not as much as Nick and his big man and his other squad in general, because I think that's just not his brand and how he moves on the basketball court. He is just trying to play the the game of basketball but i gotta give respect to this man friga because he's for sure super humble he's not talking crazy and just wants to play the game but man i think pretty much the only thing that nick Briz's squad was trying to do was fight the whole time they are ready to throw hands at any moment and it's exciting to see but in terms of basketball man i just still see this dude friga being a little bit of a better hooper than somebody like nick Briz. but man for some reason in some parts of the vid if you notice nick Briz was not really talking so, so much trash to Devontae Friga. And I think that's because he finally met somebody in terms of talent and real life basketball who has been around the basketball community. Of course, Friga played D3. That is actually about basketball, has solid talent, solid game. And I just think Devontae Friga just holds his own on the basketball court wherever he goes. I got to give respect to it. Now, regardless of who won, some people are even saying Nick Briz was intimidated by Devontae Friga. And I got to be honest, that's tough for sure. It kind of looked like it at times. Devontae Friga might have had him out of his element and Nick Briz really wasn't moving how he usually does move on the court. Now we're definitely going to need a rematch of these guys to see how they do play in the future. But man, things were looking tough in that game for sure. I got to give respect to both of these hoopers. But still, like I stated in my previous video, man, I got to give it to Friga. He just seems like the dude who has a ton more polished game than somebody like Nick Briz. But man, what do you guys think about this matchup, about these games? Do you think they need to do a rematch and Devontae Friga actually have his normal squad? Who do you think would win if they had that? And maybe if Devontae Friga actually had a warm up, I'm not sure even if he did. You guys let me know what you thought about the game. What you think about Mikey Williams and Nick Briz beef? Is Nick Briz going to actually respond to Mikey Williams? Let me know in the comments down below. But make sure you like the vid, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, get a new notification every time I upload a new video and drop any video suggestions you do have in the comments down below. I appreciate each and every one of you. All right, LNH and I'm out.